gentlemen, can I invite the candidates to come and take a space on the floor, please? declare that the number of first preference votes given for each candidate was as follows. John Christopher Appleby, Liberal Democrats, 3,549. Norma Redfern, Labour Party, 3,333,119 and feedback. Penny Remfrey, Green Party, 4,278. Stephen Paul Robinson, the Conservative Party candidate, 19,366. Jack James Thompson, UK Independence Party, UKIP, 1,753. The number of ballot papers rejected was as follows. For want of an official mark, none. For voting for more than one candidate as the first preference vote, 233. Writing or mark by which the voter can be identified, none. Unmarked or void for uncertainty as to first preference vote, 435. That's a total of 668 rejected ballot papers. Total number of verified ballot papers was 62,700. Total number of eligible voters was 157,541. The total turnout was 40%. As the candidate with the highest number of votes and having received more than 50% of the first preference votes, I do hereby declare that Norma Redfern is duly elected as Mayor for the Council of the Borough of North Tyneside.
to get on with the job and make the North Tyneside a great place to be, a great place to work, and a great, great place to live, and of course to visit. Big thank you to my other candidates because they've been very fair and kind, uh, and I do appreciate that because nothing worse than going through a, a campaign where there's a massive view. So thank you so much indeed, I do appreciate it. I'm just going to leave by saying a big thank you to any in my campaign for all you've done for me because I wasn't even allowed to, allowed to cough without sort of getting permission. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you all. Thank you. I'd like to <clears throat> follow what Norma said. First and foremost, uh, on behalf of the people of North Tyneside, to thank Norma for the time she's already done as mayor. Uh, she's worked very hard. She really cares about the people of North Tyneside, uh, and I think everybody should be consider themselves fortunate to have such a committed mayor who's done a pretty good job when, uh, let's be honest, cuts by central government spending have made local councils have a very, very difficult job. So thank you to Norma from everybody. I, I'd like you to join with me in thanking her. I have not won this contest. I've contested it before. I've contested it again because I believe people need to, need to hear the message that Liberal Democrats have of some of the important priorities for us. One important thing I think everybody should appreciate, and I, I want to sort of join this uh, with Penny, who's the Green candidate, that I think the environmental agenda is becoming the most important thing for all of us. And I celebrate the fact that the Greens and the Lib Dems, who have a pretty green agenda, as I hope you realise, that together we are gradually increasing the emphasis of that environmental vote uh, in this borough and across this country and wider. And I would like our council to really deliver on the idea that we've, we've said about the climate emergency. Uh, I know Norma believes in it, but I'd like to see it prioritised more. Uh, and I think Penny and I will be scrutinising a council that's so strongly dominated by one party needs that scrutiny to make sure it delivers on the climate emergency agenda. Uh, of course, I'd like to join Norma in thanking all the election officials, Bryn, and all the team, all the counters, and my own team who've done uh, leaflets, my agent and others, uh, and all those who voted for us once again. So thank you, everyone.
to its proceedings, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for your attendance. It's much appreciated. Um, and I hope that the, uh, the weather picks up for your afternoon.